Steelers from their 28 to start the overtime period. Cordell lines him up in a slot right, I formation. The turn and the give to the bus. And the bus goes off left tackle. He's rambling. 35 first down, 40. Still on his feet. Bus the defender and gets to the 45 of the Browns. The bus with a 22-yard carry from the get-go in overtime. And the Steelers are on the Browns' side of the field. And I mean to tell you, Dan Kreider, who's in this ball game today, who's been out with injury, Dan Kreider, give him a block. It says, it says, all right, bus, you're on your own now. And the bus drives like I bet a Julian York to take it into Cleveland territory at the 45-yard line. A 27-yard run by the bus. And here go the Steelers. I slot to the boundary left. Cleveland shows blitz. The bus gets the call. He cuts it back, and he'll get short yardage down to the Cleveland 41. He got almost four yards. Gerard Warren, the rookie defensive tackle from Florida, the third pick. Pick in the draft this year, first round pick by the Browns, makes the tackle. Hey, I tell you what, Gerard Warren is a load, and we haven't heard too much from him today. But on that tackle, because I thought Jerome Pettis was going to get a lot more yardage, but when he landed on him, Pettis went straight down. He's a first round pick this year, Gerard Warren. Second and seven at the Browns, 42. Brown show blitz again. Cordell is back. Takes the pass left, he runs right, picks up a blocker, cuts inside 40, 35, he stumbles to the 32. And he parted company with the football, but they said down by contact. Tyrone Rogers credited with the tackle. If Cordell could keep his feet, who knows how long he could have run with that ball. And you know who did it for him with the big block? Jerome the number 36 bus. You're right. He no, just that's the, the Bloomfield bus, Billy. The Bloomfield bus. No, the Garfield bus. Oh, the, from Garfield. Oh, that was the 88 Frankstown. No, it was the 36 Pettis. Oh, 36 Pettis. All right. Looked like a school bus to me. First and 10 at the 32. Brown show blitz again. The bus gets the call. He finds block. He gets inside the 30. Grinds to the 26-yard line. Tripped up by Devin Bush, the strong safety. And now the Steelers are getting closer and closer to bring Chris Brown on to redeem himself. Hopefully that is the case. And Devin Bush hits him like at the 34-yard line, but doesn't put him down until the 26 or 25-and-a-half-yard line. It is second down. And what do we call it? A short four? Three and a half, four. Yeah, we'll call it three plus. Bus has 154 yards rushing. Second and three. The bus gets the call. He goes off the left side and he dives very close to the first down. They're going to have him down maybe inches short. Wayne Rudd made the tackle. Oh, darn it. Looked like the bus would have it, but, but he couldn't quite keep his balance that time. He was running on, on one wheel. So it is going to be third down in a yard. Rudd, well, inches, Rudd, huh? Yeah, Rudd just tripped him up. And if you look at, look at the body language of the Cleveland Browns defense, they're all kind of bent over and they're looking back and forth, and they know that the Steelers have taken control of the line of scrimmage. Nope, you're right. It's almost a full yard they've got to go here. Third down, two tight ends, Bruner to the right, Tooman to the left, at the 23 of Cleveland. Cordell. Turns and gives to the bus. He runs left. He's got the first down to Moore. 20-15, and he's down inside the 15-yard line. Well, at the 15-yard line, where the Steelers have a first and 10. Former Steeler Orpheus Roy made the tackle, but it was downfield. And did you see Dan Kreider take Devin Bush, the cornerback? Bam! Smack! Bong! And, and the bus makes the yardage. And, and, and so it's at the 15-yard line. Well, see, the Browns have lost. In their mind, they have lost. They, they have just given up the ship right now. They're, 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 wa they're walking around. They're shaking their heads. They know they've lost this ball game. First and 10 at the 15 after the bus's eight-yard carry. The Browns blitz. The bus is trapped. No, he cuts it back and gets one yard to the 14. That's all. Clock winds, but we're in overtime. 12-12 is the score. Well, Tamir Miller, the linebacker, playing defensive end on that play, I do believe, was clearly offside. What's the matter with you zebras down there? Wait a minute. They, they spot the ball back at the line of scrimmage, so give the bus no gain, but he has broken his all-time Steeler rushing performance of 163 yards. He's what? got 165 unofficial. If Tamir what? Miller ain't offside, I ain't in this radio booth. Second down and 10. The Steelers at the 15 of Cleveland in overtime. Everything's in tight. Brown show blitz. The give to the bus. He waits. He cuts. He's hit and gets a yard to the 14-yard line where Brent Boyer makes the stop. It's third down and nine, and the Steeler kick team is out there. They're taking no chances, huh? Well, you want to kick it on third down. Two reasons. One, if it's blocked, you get possession back. You get another chance at kicking it. 
And uh, the other thing is you don't want to have an opportunity of maybe fumbling the ball, snap, whatever. you got a chance for Chris Brown to kick a nice, easy chip shot. 32-yard uh, field goal attempt in overtime. Fingers. Mike Schneck is over the ball. Here's the snap. Miller gets it down. Kicks Chris Brown's kick is on its way. That kick is up. That kick is good. And the Pittsburgh Steelers have to grind one out. But grind one out they do. And Chris Brown goes from goat to hero in a matter of seven days. I'm telling you, Triple Yoy, that he's a solid citizen is Chris Brown. Couldn't happen to a better guy. I know that's a cliche, but I'm so happy for that bird. And the Steelers now have, what, a, a, a two-game lead over the Cleve Brownies? My goodness, I'm heading for the locker room. Would you be surprised if I had Chris Brown great a game as Jason Gilden played? I think I, 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 I have to have Chris Brown in here in, in that locker room show. My goodness, all I did was account for all every point the Steelers got today, right? Yep, number five is the magic one. 15-12 is the final in overtime. The Steelers are now 6-2. and two. I like the sound of 6-2 and two because... Well, Bill Cowher has coached him to, what, two previous 6-2 and two records? And that is a nice-sounding figure. That's the end of the I game with a final score. Did you have an, an addendum? I almost was going to say quadruple, Yoy, but that's never done, been done before, so I ain't going to do it. Now, it would have to be a Super Bowl field goal in overtime to get the quadruple, Yoy. You got it, don't you? got it. But it still beats the Browns, and that's lovely. Can I borrow your phrase, Coach? It is a lovely indeed. And Ginger Snappy. Or kids are PG. Oh, okay. 15-12 is the final. <laughs> Stay tuned for Guy Junker on Steelers Wrap-Up. You're listening to the Pittsburgh Steelers Football Network.